Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, or welcome to my channel if you're new around here. Um, firstly, apologies for the very yellow lighting. Um, I'm filming this at like 4 o'clock, but it's already dark, so that's good. Um, but today's video is actually a very, very exciting one, it's one I've wanted to film for literally ages. Um, and it is my Disney College program Q&A. This might end up being a really super long video, so we shall see how it goes. Um, basically I asked on Instagram, Twitter and also actually Facebook um, for any questions you guys had about my Disney College program experience. Um, I have been speaking to like individual people um, on main Instagram DMs about this so I thought the best thing to do was just compile everything, every question that I've received in one big video for you guys. Um, so yeah, let's get into it. So I actually had a lot more questions than I thought I was gonna have. Um, the first time I posted about it on Instagram, I mainly got my friends joking around, but <laughs> I did actually end up getting quite a lot of really good questions. So um, I'm just gonna try and answer as many of them as I possibly can. So the first question comes from Rihanna Way. I'm really sorry if I said your name wrong. I'm just gonna read out like Instagram handles, but she asked, do you get to choose which park you would prefer to work in? Um, now, I can't officially remember how this went. I'm pretty sure in our pre-screen we had a little, like, form and you could basically rank your parks, like, your preferred parks to your least preferred parks. Um, although, in all honesty, it's random. I'm pretty sure like, I don't think it really matters, like, what you preference. Um, you don't get to choose what park you work in, although, obviously, you can, like, pick up shifts and trade and swap etc so like to some extent you can choose because say if you really wanted to make sure that you worked a shift in Hollywood Studios whilst you were on your program but you worked in Animal Kingdom um the chances are you can probably switch and trade um but generally your like main home location gets chosen for you don't really have a say in that. Amir asks how many hours on average did you work a week in quick service? Um now this was different for everyone I've spoken to a lot of people about this um, some of my friends said they worked 40, 50 hours a week, like a lot of hours. Um, I actually hardly did like a huge amount of hours. Basically my location was really overstaffed. Um, for those of you who are new, I worked in Cosmic Rays in Tomorrowland, which is the busiest quick service location in the world. Um, and because of that they had so many cast members working there, so many CPs especially. Um, and we were actually very, very, very overstaffed, so we had way too many people working there than we should have. Um, and yeah, so I kind of feel like I did the minimum amount of hours, I think it's 30. Yeah, I think the minimum you're allowed to work is 30 hours um, on our like visas. Um, they specified that you have to have a certain amount of hours. Um, every week I was pretty much only doing 30. Um, there were the odd occasion where I would actually end up doing less, um, but... I mean, you can't really do a lot about it, like if you get scheduled loads of hours, you can try and give them away, but generally people don't want them, so um, yeah, I would say it depends on your location. Quick service, usually, I would say is probably the longest, um, from what I've kind of heard from people, but yeah, for me personally, I probably worked about 30 hours a week. Drew asks, who is your favourite CP? There is a right answer. I mean, I, I guess I'm gonna have to say you, Drew, aren't I? Like. But to be fair, like I said in my last question um, about working a lot of hours, Drew worked in Deluxe Burger in Disney Springs and I think he probably worked the most out of all of us, so well done Drew, you smashed it. Ellie asks, would you do a QA and a with your roommate? Yes, Ellie, let's do it, let's film that. I feel like that would be really interesting, I feel like a lot of people would have questions about that. If you guys want me to film Q and A with my roommate Ellie, then let me know. Ellie also asks, how did you find Vista? So I, um, for those of you who don't know, Basically when you do a Disney college program or an international program or whatever you want to call it because it's got like 500 names, um, you live in Disney housing so Disney gives you accommodation. Um, I feel like you can, like you don't have to live there if you don't want to but like most people tend like choose to. Um, I lived in Vista Way which is I believe the oldest housing. Um, I, I liked it, I don't really have anything to compare it to because I only ever visited Patterson for like 10 minutes and I never went inside any of the others. But yeah, Vista was fine. Like you don't spend a lot of time in your apartment unless you get ill like I did. But um, generally you don't spend too much time in your apartment. So what it looks like isn't really too bad as long as it's clean and as long as you feel safe, which we definitely did. So yeah, Vista was 
it was it was livable so i yeah it was fine layla asks how do disney pay you um so this was actually something that i really didn't know anything about before i went out there um i wasn't sure if like we had to open our own bank account or if we just had to have like an account which we could pay american dollars into so i wasn't really too sure going into it but basically the way they do it is they give you basically an american bank account um it's through a company called wirecard which as we experienced isn't great for international students international students international cps because um transferring money at the end of it into pounds is really difficult um we had a lot of problems trying to get our money off the account um the card works like completely fine in america and like you can use it exactly how you would use a normal card um like you just swipe or you um chip and pin i don't think it was contactless but like most american cards aren't so it doesn't really matter you can pay online with stuff um the only thing i wish that wirecard had and it surprised me that they didn't is they don't have like a mobile app so you can't check your balance easily you have to log in and it's a faff you have to type in loads of numbers every time or you can go to an atm but generally they're not the most easily accessible and you have to pay to use them so i didn't love the way we were paid um and honestly i think that's definitely something which i think disney definitely need to improve on because it was just a bit of a faff especially for international people um so yeah wirecard it's just like a bank account charlotte asks worst part of the job spill the tea okay so i'm not going to go too much into this because i actually do really want to film a like spilling the tea kind of video i don't want it to be super negative so i feel like i'm going to do a video all about like my favorite parts and my worst parts um together um if that's something you guys are interested in i definitely want to do that so i won't go too far into it but there definitely were a lot of negative aspects about the program and i'm not even just saying that to like try and you know like it's at the end of the day it's a job um and you're not gonna always get on with everyone that you meet you're not always gonna get on with everyone that kind of is above you like your bosses um just because it's disney not everyone is nice and you will learn that very quickly um it's also very tiring i would say one of the worst parts about it was i spent the whole of my summer being exhausted which i'm fine with because i kind of was aware of that before i went out there but just to be aware of it like there are a lot of negative aspects and like they're not things that in like five years time we're gonna look back and think oh that was so bad like that was really awful compared like i feel like the good does still outweigh the bad but there definitely were like a lot of negative things so i feel like i'm gonna go more into depth with that another time um but yeah just be aware that it's not all fun and magic every second of every day kitty asks what was the highlight of your experience um i would say the highlight was m like meeting so many people that i wouldn't normally get to meet um and also meeting like when i was working serving children who were just so excited all the time and it just is so so nice um in my location i didn't necessarily get to speak to a lot of people like guests for a long amount of time so whenever i did i kind of definitely made the most of it and the amount of times i met children who it was their first time there like, they wanted to go like for so long and they were finally there like, all of those things are just so so nice definitely the best experience but personally for me i would say the best part of my program had to be breakfast at crystal palace because that was the most fun morning ever i don't think we've ever laughed so much um, and the character meets were great and it's Winnie the Pooh which is one of my faves um, and my other favourite experience was the night that me and Ellie actually went to the Rose and Crown um, and the one of the CPs, well, I don't think he was a CP but one of the cast members working in the um, Rose and Crown got us VIP spots to watch Illuminations and bear in mind we didn't love Illuminations, we weren't that bothered about it like we were planning on eating dinner whilst it was on so that it would be quieter um it was insane it was the best night so those two things were definitely my faves <laughs> emily said come back yes please i would very much like to as long as i don't have to wear cosplay again though. talia asked how did you find being away from friends and family for such a long time um honestly not too bad it was only two and a half months which sounds like quite a lot of time to be in a different country but like i feel like because i've already done two years at uni at that point it didn't really phase me that much like I still spoke to my family as much as I could. Um, obviously, time difference was 
the most, I'd say time difference was the most difficult thing, especially if I just said something really fun and I wanted to tell my friends and family about it and I couldn't because they were asleep or like that kind of thing was probably the hardest thing but honestly, um, especially if you're about to go on an ICP, most of you, the time you would have been already been to uni because that's how you go through the process. Um, I would say don't worry about it too much because yeah you've probably already been away from home so it's kind of no different and you live so closely with like your roommates and your flatmates that you kind of just like make your own family while you're there and you have people like you're never gonna be on your own so and also remember that everyone's going through the same thing and especially a lot of the American CPs like some of them have never been away from home before or some of them like it's gonna take them a lot of money and time to get home so just like just think about it everyone's in the same boat Talia also asked how often did you actually get to spend in the parks and did it not get tiring around work very very tiring that's one thing I will say prepare yourselves for it because I was exhausted and you definitely need to make sure you have like a good like balance between having loads of fun going to the parks working etc but then also like chilling out and just making sure you sleep um sleep is definitely the lowest priority for everyone on the program because you just get in super late from work and then you have a fast pass for like 10 a.m the next day so you have to be up um but yeah it was exhausting but at the end of the day it is only for like two months of your life so yeah i kind of got you get used to it and i feel like half the time you're running off adrenaline anyway so you don't notice how tired you are until i got home and i honestly thought i was going to die but it's fine <laughs> I would say in terms of how often did I actually spend time in the parks, um, every one of my days off pretty much was spent in the parks. Um, the only time that I would kind of swap going to the parks or having like a rest would be if I knew that I was working in the afternoon. Um, generally if I was already at work in the morning, which didn't happen very often, if I had a morning shift and then finished in the afternoon, um, generally I would like leave work and go to a park, whereas I would normally have like a lane in the morning if I knew that I was starting at like two or three so that's kind of how I did that but most of my days off were spent in the parks okay so I'm actually gonna make this my very last question um and then I'm gonna do a part two because I'm aware this video is already about 15 minutes long and I don't really want it to be much longer so I'm gonna do that this last question and then I'm gonna stop this and start another video which will be up in a couple of weeks um and it'll be the rest of the questions so Lauren asked, what was your favourite thing about it? My favourite thing, I feel like I've already mentioned this, like meeting people from all over the world, especially the American CPs who I'm still really good friends with now and I definitely would never have met them if it wasn't for this. Um, I've made so many good friends through the programme um, that I, again, would never have met before that. And also like just the chance to work somewhere really cool. And I honestly think, think for me, my fa very favourite part about the programme was the fact that you get to see how everything is done. Like for me, I worked in Magic Kingdom, so I got to see the tunnels. Um, I feel like I can talk about this as a known thing, like the tunnels are a thing that people know about. I got to see backstage, um, which a lot of people say like, is that not gonna ruin the magic for you? But actually for me, that's something that I'm really, really interested in. So I found it really interesting and that was probably my favorite thing, just seeing how everything is done. Okay, you guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I'm gonna end this here and then go and film the rest of it so i can upload this in a couple of weeks thank you so much for watching um if you did make sure to give it a thumbs up if you have any more questions that i've not already answered leave them in the comments below and i'll be sure to answer them um maybe i'll even film another q a very soon um subscribe if you're not already and i'll see you again with another video bye Hello.